OK, now it's time to up the testosterone factor just a little bit. Somehow, Adrian neglected to mention going out to do the next story. While the rest of us were here, he snuck off to Sydney. And bear in mind, you might just be witnessing one of the happiest moments in the professor's life. If you're going to start collecting cars, you're going to have to consider Italian design. They're so far ahead, the others hardly come close. I want to try and find out what it is that makes them so special, so I've come to Motori Italiani to see if I can find some answers. Italian cars are not just well designed, they all start around a brilliant design concept by a known designer. For them, it's not form follows function. These are people who make cars that are works of art. This is by Pininfarina, the design guru, and he doesn't just design cars, he designs little creatures. Creatures with wonderful, sleek lines out of nature. And the test of great design, well, look, this was built in 1978. It's never gone out of fashion. Here's another iconic design by Pininfarina. In this case, the Alpha Spider from the late 60s. This one's a film star, because it was in The Graduate. And it's got the best rear end of any car I know. And over here, the 1750 GTV by Bertone. It's a wonderful looking car, but the design features are all inside. Feast your eyes on this seat and this dashboard. Now, if I could be beamed back to 1960 for a drive holiday around the Swiss Alps, I would take this car with me. It's the Lancia Flaminia GT. <laughs> this is the unmistakable look of Ferrari. It's got the classic wedge front, styling by Pippin Farina, a gear knob to die for. It's the classic Ferrari 328 GT. Now, Frank Sinatra said that if you want to be someone, you buy a Ferrari. But when you are somebody, you buy a Lamborghini. And I have to say, this Countach is pretty out of this world. In fact, I'm not even sure it's of this galaxy. Everything is, is odd. I mean, even the door does that. I just love this car. Well, you didn't think I'd come all this way and not sit in one of Horatio Pagani's works of art, the Zonda. Until last year, this was the fastest car in the world. They say this thing will do 340 kilometers an hour comfortably. Well, I'm not sure I could be comfortable doing 340 kilometers an hour, but I just hope I'll be able to collect one of these before I lose my nerve.